In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a simple blitzing scheme that you can use from the nickel 335 wide, and you can also use this from the nickel uh, 335 uh, wide in terms of man and zone defense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, maybe you've never seen any of my videos before, my channel is all about helping you get better at Madden, both on the offensive and on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better at Madden 21, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button because on this channel, we upload videos every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock that are designed to help you get better either on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball. One of the other things that I wanted to highlight before we jump into this blitz um, from the nickel 335 wide. Now, this can be found in the Giants playbook as well as the 4-6. We actually have a full defensive guide out um, on the 46 playbook, which you can pick up in the description. But what I wanted to highlight is my text message membership. Now, this is something that I do um, for my YouTube channel, and it's only for you guys. And the reason why I do this is I want to give you as much access as you possibly can have. And basically, every single week, what I do is I make a secret video or an unlisted video that is some type of breakdown on some type of scheme that is really, really good in Madden 21. Sometimes it's, you know, a meta pro scheme. Sometimes it's not, right? We've broken down in our text membership the Big Nickel over G, the Gun Y off trips pats or U trips, the Gun Ace slot offset, the Gun split close, the Gun bunch, the Minnesota Vikings single back trio, as well as several other formations. And so if you want to get access to all of them, literally all of them, and you want to get access to new content every single week, new videos every single week, these are longer and more in-depth breakdowns than my standard YouTube tips. And they really take you into the deeper level of Madden and kind of give you some insight into not only the schemes, but the thought processes behind the schemes as well. So if you want to get better, I would highly encourage you to just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644, and you can get those exclusive uh, tips and scheme breakdowns. Now, typically those videos are about an hour uh, or about 45 minutes, so very in-depth and very high level. Now, what we're doing today is we're talking about this nickel 335 wide, and we're going to start with it. It's basically a two-man blitz, right, or two-play blitz. You can either run it out of zone or you can run it out of man. You can obviously change your zone drops and all that stuff depending on what you want to do. But very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to come out in Mike Blitz 3, and the only adjustment we're going to do is we're going to spread our line and we're going to crash our line out. Now, what I like to do is I also like to press coverage so that it looks like man-to-man -man coverage. This is also going to do a good job against the run. And you're going to stand basically right here. Now, I saw Joke doing this last night. I thought this was actually a really, really good way to run this blitz because it also does really good in terms of how this mixes in with your max coverage. And I think it does pretty good against inside zone as well. And so what I'm going to show you here is at the snap of the ball, all you're going to do is run down about a step right there. And as you see, you're going to get really, really fast edge pressure from the right side of the screen. So it's five on five and you're able to get one guy screaming completely free uh, at the quarterback. So as you see right here, which shows it to you again, you basically want to be like right behind the center, literally directly behind the center. And what you'll see is, let's say they run, um, let's say that they run like inside zone. All right, just want to show you this real quick. I don't know what's going on with Brady here. We're going to reset that. But let me, let me just show you inside zone. Let's say they run inside zone. Snap the ball, you're going to come down, and then you're just going to click off. As you can see there, you can kind of get in there and mess up the inside zone. And that's one of the reasons I really like this. And we'll show you this one more time um, against that inside zone. And you might need to lab the shoot a little bit more. But basically, like I said, you're just going to look. You see here, I'm going to go to the opposite side of the center. So the center is going to the left. So I'm going to go to the right right here, come to the right. And I can just come right in and get that inside zone. So I'm able to shoot inside zone both from the right and the left. I can shoot it play side or I can shoot it back side. And that's one of the things that I make this so good is not just that it's a really good pass defense, but it's also the fact that this can be really, really effective uh, against the run defense. So same kind of situation right here. Here he's going to run to the left side. So I'm just going to come right in here, swoop in, and I'm able to stop inside zone for a zero yard gain. So I can do that from uh, zone coverage. Um, but what I can also do is I can audible to Mike Blitz O. And as you'll see right here, now I'm in man coverage, right? Now make sure you shade coverage over top when you when you press them so that you don't get burned. But as you can see, now I'm in now I'm in man coverage. It's the same exact pressure. Everything's exactly the same. And as you can see, we're able to lock up the the uh, the the pass with that heavy heavy pressure blitz. Now one other thing that you can do is you can also, if you wanted to get a little bit of extra pressure, let's say they block the running back, 
you could blitz that slot corner, right? So I'll show you that real quick. We're gonna blitz the slot corner, same thing, run down. And as you can see here, we're gonna come right through the gap with that, uh, with that slot pressure. So you have options within this scheme, but those are the simple setups. Literally all you're doing is you're shifting your line, you're crashing it out, and then you're going to press coverage and user your user literally right behind this guy and you're just going to run at the gap opposite the back. So if the back's on the right side, you're gonna run at the left side gap. If the back is on the left side, like he is right here, you're gonna see I'm gonna run right off that right side gap. And as you can see, we're gonna get nice instant pressure at the quarterback. So that is a 335 wide little mini scheme there for you. We have more on this formation in our defensive ebook, which you can pick up in the description. We're also, pro uh, we're also gonna be breaking this formation down a little bit more in depth as we study Joke, in my opinion, Joke's one of the best defensive players in Madden history. And this is what he is running. He's running a lot of nickel 335 wide right now, primarily because it does a really good job against the pass. And it also does a really good job against the run. In my opinion, nickel 335 wide um, in combination with nickel 335 normal is the best way to play defense this year. And we show you exactly how to do that in our 46 ebook. We also break down several other uh, tools and strategies for you as well uh, in our 46 ebook that you can pick up in the description but I won't bore you with the details. If you have any questions about the 46 ebook or if you want to see a sample uh, for my uh, play broke down, just go ahead and shoot me a text message and I can shoot you the link to that. Also, if you want to get those exclusive schemes that we released to our text message members every single week, uh, go ahead and shoot me a text. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. And lastly, if you have any Madden questions whatsoever, just shoot me a text message and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. We will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for your support and uh, we'll talk with you via text.